Well, we got a new gym in March 2014, so we've been here um, over a year now, and um, lifelong dream of purchasing and owning a gym with four floors and long fast track and rod floor and lots of room, fancy staff room for the staff who are awesome and deserve it, and a great parent viewing area. We've got three dance studios and we've got this athlete room where the kids can hang out, do homework in between classes or just before their, their practice starts and feel very blessed. It's great, our sound system and just all the little things. I even have my own office. I upgraded, it's awesome. I think you should keep pushing and be aggressive on it and then we'll make a decision after that. But let's not um, either get to our spot and say, oh, we're not going to make it or it's really far. Now you guys know the count. The only part that we're kind of like worried about is the walking and having enough time to walk and step. You've got to make that strong because if it's not strong, and it's not like defined when everybody drops it. We're gonna, it won't work. Well, World's 2015, day three, did, definitely didn't go the way that we had hoped. After our final run, I don't think I've ever felt a bigger disappointment in myself and my team, unfortunately. Um, we had worked so hard all year, and that week in particular, we had done that routine every single day. We had hit it every single day leading up to finals, and something happened in finals where we just crumbled, unfortunately. I saw it when we were on the floor. I can see it in people's faces, but I was, instead of tumbling, I saw a cat at the back, and that's when she was like, you know what? Get yourself just together. Just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah. Get yes. it together! Then leaving the floor, um, I was like, was that the best we can do? No. Like, I felt discouraged, I felt disappointed. Um, but going forward now, um, just using it as motivation, knowing that we can prevail. Major we can, yes, exactly. Yeah, it was really weird not being on the floor last year with my teammates, and honestly, it was a lot harder than being on the floor. Um, it was a strange feeling. Like, I woke up that morning and I called my friends and family at home, I said today's the day Ice Queens wins we're all, but Worlds. I truly thought walking on the floor they had it because every practice, uh, being a spectator and a coach, I'd watch them hit the routine every practice and it just felt right. And it was just really hard um, to watch your teammates who you're used to being side by side crumble as they go through the routine. I think that day we all felt when we woke up, like today is the day that we are going to give it our all and and have no fear. And unfortunately, it, it does take 24, 30 people of your team to be on the same track. And unfortunately, that wasn't the case. But um, we're going to use it as motivation. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you can only go up from here. You can walk away from an experience like that and do what I did and not even be able to watch the routine until I think it was the first week of September when I finally watched it. Um, but I think the takeaway is that we have to celebrate failure because in the failure there's learning to happen and if we don't just embrace it, say it happened and learn from it, we won't grow and move on. So. That's what we're doing and that's our takeaway, that never take anything for granted and uh, just you work so hard as a level 5 athlete all year and when the last day doesn't go well, it's really hard and the next season starts the next day and so that's where we're at.